my main research area is around music heritage uh, and music archives. And that's born really uh, from my desire. I don't think in the city I live in, Birmingham, in the UK, we make enough of our music heritage. Uh, we have a long sustained history of producing worldwide acts, but also uh, smaller acts and, and, and venues. And we don't celebrate it like Liverpool or Manchester perhaps. And I think that there's cultural, uh, social, and political, uh, as well as economic benefits for us uh, to do that. So I've created something called the Birmingham Music Archive, and I look at the, how music in the city impacts upon our cultural identity, our cultural heritage, how people engage with music, how it gives them meaning and identity, and how people really, I suppose, memorialise around uh, different music uh, or different aspects of music. So, for example, you'll find that people talk about the venues that they went to when they were younger. Perhaps they might have met their wife or their girlfriend or their husband there, or where they went with their friends. And all these sorts of um, stories, for me, create new narratives and give us new meaning about popular music history. <laughs> I'm always hoping to find out the things I don't know about, if that makes sense, because I think what's great for me in terms of my research, in a very small case study like uh, Birmingham, is all these venues that, that uh, were uh, around in the, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, all the bands that perhaps didn't accumulate or get great c commercial success, but meant a lot to small micro scene, the record shops, pirate radio. So for me, I have a real interest in understanding how and why people talk about these things about burning. But in a wider aspect, you know, I'm, I'm interested in how globally uh, people are also, different communities are also uh, collecting and understanding their, their music heritage. And that's really been brought about by the advent of uh, the internet and the spread of technologies that more people now feel in control and feel able to tell their own stories. So my wider work is couched in something called activist archivism. And that's the idea that uh, a lot of histories and uh, collection of archives aren't held uh, within the traditional gatekeepers, so traditional archives or traditional museums. So individuals and communities have taken it upon themselves to collect and share and tell their own stories. I think the work that I've been doing has started to highlight the opportunities for a city like Birmingham. If you look at the City Council, for example, um, they've recently done a, a strategy review about uh, does Birmingham make use of its uh, music heritage and understand its music heritage for cultural uh, tourism and economic benefits. So you know, my research plays a role within that. I was part of that scrutiny review. So there's quite a widespread of uh, organisations and institutions, businesses, and I think some of the work that we're doing, uh, some of the exciting work that we're doing, will have a role, ha have some impact uh, within that field as we move forward. Yeah.